hello and good afternoon. It is like 12.03, so it's just afternoon. I think I woke up like an hour and a bit ago, but I've just been chilling in bed. I'm really congested today, and I think it's just because of the lovely respiratory issues that I have in this house. I usually wake up pretty congested, so that is fun. That'll be something. We've got we've got the Kleenex, and also before everything went crazy, we had gone to Costco, so we got a lot of Kleenex. <laughs> because we were out. Anyways, plans for today, like I mentioned, I think yesterday, are just to stay home all day and do laundry. That's like the only plan that I have for leaving the house. We'll see what happens, but I just like, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to eat food that we bought and um, chill. I need to take care of like the bed and this disastrous situation over here. Uh, and even like, uh, it just gets bad because I'm like, oh, I'll do my recycling another day. I'll do my recycling another day. And then it's like a week and a half later. I'm like, mm, I should probably do my recycling. But yeah, I think that's like one of the main things I want to do this weekend is get my room in ship shape. I also do want to edit because I still have like 110,000 words that I need to edit this month. And this month is going by quickly. And next week I'm working a lot. So, you know. <laughs> We'll see what happens, but I think first things first, I'm gonna go either find some food to eat or make myself some food to eat. It's basically the same thing. And then we'll go from there. But yeah, I really want to be productive today and like I have a giant list. Uh, I've been being lazy, honestly, for a lot of this month. <laughs> and I need to just step it up. I just need to step it up. All right, I'm going to go now, and I will check it with you along the way. Can we just talk about how much allergies suck? So, like, I woke up this morning, and I was struggling because of allergies. And I started to get over that. I opened my window. He had some fresh air and everything in here. And then I went downstairs because my mom was like, oh, we should separate this meat. And I went downstairs, and she had just come in from smoking, and I started to die. Like, I literally, I was like, I can't be around you. I can't be around you. So I had to run upstairs. And I went into the washroom to wash my hands and someone had just sprayed an aerosol cleaner in there. Or not a cleaner, like a air fragrant thing. And that just did me in. I was done. I like, I couldn't breathe. I was wheezing. Love that for me. So I now have some allergy medicine in my system. I did pick up some yesterday when we were doing our preparation stocking because I'm like, I know <laughs> allergies destroy me all the time. So... I now have some Benadryl in me, so hopefully I'll start to feel better, but now I feel like pretty tired because it was, it came on so fast, it took it out of me really quickly, and then obviously allergy medicine is like a drowsy thing, so I think I'm going to chill for a bit, lay down, I'm doing laundry, and then go down and separate some food so we can freeze it, but yeah, that's, oh, I just, today's not the greatest day, <laughs> it'll be fine probably, but, uh also, at some point today, I want to, like, reevaluate my goals for this year. You can't really see them, like, at all. But, um, because, obviously, I've been making strides on some things and other things not so much. So, I want to talk about that and get to that today. And it doesn't hurt to reevaluate every couple months. And it's been, like, three months since I set them. So, now is an ideal time. But I'm going to go down for a bit and I'll check in with you. <sighs> Why do I keep saying that? I'll check in with you along the way, and I will, but I'm, just, I'm gonna go. So today I was definitely out here hitting no goals, so that allergic reaction took it out of me way more than I anticipated it would. Like, I decided to play, um, I've been playing a game called Child of Light, and so I decided to play that for a little bit, and I was, like, doing the head bob while I was waiting for my laundry. I went and got my laundry, and then I passed out for, like, three hours. I don't know what. It was, like, a very distinct combination of my like because it came on so fast and then so that taking it out of me and then the allergy medicine because I was out for like three hours and like I slept for like eight and a half hours last night so it's not like I was exhausted from not sleeping a lot so yeah and then I woke up and we had dinner we played some Mario Kart while getting ready for dinner and then we just played a little bit more and now I'm up here it's like 10 to 9 <laughs> And I have done nothing that I plan to do today. And, like, ugh, I don't even know what happened. But let's um, come this way where the lighting is not so great. This is, like, the dark shadow of the room. Let's see. Can we resolve this? Did that make it any better? Maybe a little bit. All right. <laughs> Maybe we can go over here. 
Do, do, do. That is so bright. That ring light. It's good. Yeah, I got pop cans. See, I didn't even deal with this. I was definitely going to deal with this today. Ooh. Okay, that's, that's a little better. We can work with that. Turn you a little bit. Good. I also, like, my hair has been up like this for, like, two days. Oh, I'm afraid to take it out. Anyways, uh, like I mentioned, I want to take a look at my goals for <laughs> 2020 and kind of see what we're doing. YouTube, vlogging. I've been... I haven't been vlogging daily lately because I haven't wanted to and I'm actually enjoying it a lot more because I don't feel like I have to. I feel like I can just vlog when I want to, which is today. <laughs> um, new intro each, each month. Wow, English hard. So yes, for January, February, and March, I've had a new intro each month, despite the fact that I'm like, wow, this takes a lot of effort. It's kind of fun. This one I feel is a little bit long for March. It's like 14 seconds. I feel like it's at least four seconds too long. It's fine. Thumbnails and tags. I've been getting a lot better at doing, trying to, trying to do better on thumbnails, but I never think to stop and be like, oh, hold for thumbnail. So, whatever. <laughs> and then my other channel, which I randomly occasionally post stuff onto. I want to post like once a month and stuff and... I don't think I've posted this month. It's fine. <laughs> Writing. Querying my book that's done. I haven't done any of that. <laughs> so that's definitely right here an area that I need to work on. Finishing my current book. So I've added any remaining chapters that I need to, which is exciting. Finishing edit. I'm working on it. I still have like 110,000 words to go. It'll be fine. Um, send to readers. So once it's done, I'll send it to a bunch of people and then as I get feedback, I will revise, but hopefully by the end of the month, I'm still being optimistic, hopefully by the end of the month I can get through that and I can send it off and then that'll be like a pretty big check mark off my list. And then after that is to start my next series, which I'm already thinking about and planning and plotting, so that's good. It's just going to take some time to get there. Hopefully no more than the rest of this month. Blog. I just stopped blogging. <laughs> there was like three days where I posted it and I got no traffic at all and I was just like I don't even care anymore <laughs> but I want to get back into it so that's fine <laughs> social media I'm trying to be more active on social media I wouldn't say I am being but I'm trying <laughs> both Instagram and Twitter Twitter I've started using more this year which is exciting because I just wasn't using it before so that's cool at least <laughs> um health we're getting there, we're drinking more water, trying to exercise more. Uh, mental health is kind of doing this. Right now we're here, we're fine. <laughs> um, money, we've just been saving. That's it, I've been saving money. I probably haven't been saving as much money as I could be saving because I did things like bought myself a Nintendo Switch. But that's fine because I had the money saved to do so. Bought myself a new camera last year because I saved the money for that. I'd like to get a little better at saving. And I think like just staying home, food is the thing that I spend the most money on. I'll be like, okay, we're gonna go out and eat food. Don't need to, hey, hey we have so much food at home, we just buy a lot of food. Just buy the food you bought. Travel, that's kiboshed. <laughs> um, my plan was to travel between October this year and February next year. Uh, I was going to book next month in April, and I was actually, I was going to book in February because I found like a great deal, but I couldn't 100% decide between two places, and so I chose not to book, and I was going to book in April, and now I'm glad that I delayed because I don't think I'm going to travel this year, so I'll just keep saving money, and then maybe I'll go to both places I want to go to. Who knows? Create, embroidering. I, I still need to finish this piece. It's just chilling here. That's a place I want to go, Sydney. Still need to complete that, but it landed on my slipper. But we'll get there. I do want to get back into embroidering more because I really enjoyed it, but I just like, I don't know, since March hit, I just feel like I have no time and I don't really know why. So I'm gonna try to figure that out. I've been sleeping a lot. That's probably part of it. <laughs> Read. I am five books into my goal of at least 12 books for this year, so that's good. I have picked out another book. It's um, Throne of Glass, I think. I read the novellas forever ago. I had bought this book, Throne of Glass, and a friend of mine, 
on Instagram said, oh, you should read these novellas first. So I read those and then I just never read the books. So, but <laughs> we'll keep going. I bought a couple of Kindle books on deep discount. They're like two, three bucks a book. So that's exciting as if I need to. I have many non-read books, but that's fine. We're at five out of 12. We only have seven more to go. Obviously, I w I'm willing to read more than that. I just, my fear was I was just going to read all the books and do nothing else. So balance. <laughs> I have a random section here. It's like socialize more, which socializing less now is what we're doing. <laughs> and then just other various things. Thinking about getting a new website instead of my blog, like an actual website, like an author website. But we'll see. Philanthropy. So this year, near the beginning of the year, I saw somebody post that for every month this year they want to donate like ten dollars to a cause which i thought was just a great idea actually it was 10 pounds so it's like 17 something canadian but i was like oh that's a great idea and so in january i donate it to wires in australia because of all the uh, bush fires they're still dealing with and australian red cross i couldn't decide which one, so I donated 25 to each of them. And then last month I donated, I think it was like $47 to Plan Canada, and it's um because they have like gifts of hope, so you can go on and say, hey, I want to help with like kids' education or whatever. And the one that I picked was um help train a medical worker. Um so that $47 was matched by like a government or a other external force and so it was like 200 and something dollars. So that's what I did for last month. This month I'm still not sure. I just like, you know, ideally Canadian things and backyard things. I'm thinking about donating to the theatre I work at because they have a program that gives tickets to underprivileged families and stuff that couldn't afford to go to a show regularly. So that funds a program to get them to come to shows or to or for us to put on free shows so that we can give out free tickets so like that's a cool thing at some point I'll donate to that but I kind of want to keep it in my back pocket for a month when I can't figure out what I want to donate to but that's exciting and then just manifesting which I have not been doing this is supposed to be my manifestation board like my vision board all it has on it are embroidery that I've worked on but those are my goals that I've been working on this year so far and I think overall, that's so bright. I think overall it's been going all right. There's obviously things that I need to kibosh, like travel, that's not gonna happen this year. And then things that I need to double down my efforts on, like finishing this edit. But overall, I'm feeling pretty good about the direction I'm going, which is great because we're three months in and it's always good to evaluate and reevaluate your goals when you get in. So some of those I will migrate to next year, like the travel things, and um, other ones I'll just double down on, like get better at saving money, stop buying food all the time. <laughs> Basically it. So that's where we're at. I think I'm gonna try to maybe fold my clothes and get my life to order, to order? In order. <laughs> but we will see. But yeah, it's just after nine I work tomorrow. It's probably gonna be like a six-ish hour shift, me picking arbitrary times. But I do have a lot of stuff to get done before the theater camp comes in and we're kind of busy and then social distancing and yeah. So that's where we're at and tomorrow we will work. And then on Monday, my boss will be in and a lot of the staff will be in the theater. So we'll be able to like kind of figure out the following week. <laughs> so yeah, good times. Anyways, I'm gonna go now and I'll check in with you in a bit. I finally took my hair out. It does not look great. <laughs> it smells really good though. I use that press conditioner bar. It's the scent Jungle from Lush. It smells so good and I don't know if it's extra curly just because it's been in a bun for days or if it's because of that. And I think it might be partially because of that because it's so good for hair. It's like natural but I need to put this up because it just was not working for me. Anyways, it is currently, oh, 11, 11. Everybody make a wish. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, never mind. It's 11, 12. We missed it. It's um, just after 11. And all I did was put my pillowcases on my pillows and get my work clothes ready for tomorrow. I've been watching a movie, but kind of passively. And then the Oh, wait, the other thing I did was my friend in Australia, who I edited her story for her the other day, she was like, 
Do you have Facebook Messenger? She messaged me on Instagram because like Instagram messaging is kind of clunky and I was like no and so we found a different app that I have that I am good with so now we can text each other which is awesome like quite easily. Technology is so great, right? <laughs> anyway, so we are chatting and she's working on editing her book, not her book, her short story um, with the notes that I sent her. <laughs> uh, she still likes me, still wants to talk to me. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I, I think I mentioned it the other day, but whenever I'm editing for other people, I just always think they're going to be so offended by my notes because I'm like, I'm just trying to make it better. But especially with um, fiction writing is it's like, I want to make it better. This is how I would do it. But you also need to make sure you keep your own voice because I have a very distinct writing voice, I think. And I think a lot of people have a very distinct writing voice. And so just because I'm saying that maybe this is a way you could go, like, don't necessarily go. You don't need to go that way. You just got to do the grammar right. Anyways, I think I'm going to pack my bag for work tomorrow, and then tomorrow's another day so we can be productive, hopefully, and, um, yeah, I guess, I don't know, do I have footage? I don't know, I'm going to go, <laughs> and, um, I guess I will see you in the next vlog. <laughs> Good night.